Hello mga Hello. kaji! Hello! <laughs> Welcome back to our channel! Today we're going to talk about How you can bring your car to the Philippines If you are an OFW So, ganito yun, may mga procedures sila na um, Pinablish kung ano yung gagawin nyo Na step by step uh, of course, uh, as we go along, we will answer those questions by, uh, one by one. So, okay, number one question. Bilang isang OFW, posible bang maiuwi ang ating sasakyan sa Pilipinas? Ayun, parang may clue na kami kanina sinabi. Uh, of course, it is possible. Um, Inaalaw naman siya ng, ng Philippine government. But, take note na ang main aim ng government dito talaga is to limit yung mga uh, uh, Filipinos abroad to bring their cars back to the Philippines. Why? Of course, gusto nila na sa Pilipinas na ibibili. Kasi, yung uh, tangka hindi kanyang sarili natin. Yun ang ano Correct. Ba? Though, hindi naman tayo yung manufacturers ng car. Pero somehow kasi, as a uh, migrant worker for like, say, 10, 20 years, yung mga attachment na rin tayo sa mga, ano, sa mga sasakyan natin, mga ano, ganyan. So, you somehow still prefer to bring your cars back to the Philippines. So, ayun, it's possible yeah. to bring it back. And I think, I think one of the reason is medyo mura po ang mga sasakyan dito. No, oh, okay. Mm -hmm. We are in Kuwait, of course. Uh, murang cars dito kasi wala silang tax. tax. Walang tax yung mga sasakyan mm -hmm. dito. So, mabawa, uh, makakabili ka dito ng uh, yung 1 million pesos na worth ng car mo dito is ano na yan, big time na yun. Magandang klase na ng sasakyan yung mabibili mo nandito. So, isa pang tanong dito, ano ang mga dapat gawin o sundin na proseso para maiuwi ang sasakyan sa Pilipinas? Ayun, okay. May konting cheat code ako dito. Unang-una um, uh, kasi um, dapat mo nang imit natin yung mga requirements nila. Una, uh, kailangan isa kang uh, a former returning Filipino citizen who has stayed abroad for more than one year. Thing. So, if you stayed overseas for more than a year na hindi ka umuwi ng Pilipinas, pasok ka sa requirement na to. Pwede kang magdala ng auto mo. Or, if uh, you are an immigrant who is a holder of a 13G visa. Ito na mga 13G visa. Ito yung halwa sa US. Um, naging US citizen na sila. Tama? Tapos hindi sila nag... Ang intindi ko, hindi sila nag dual citizenship. So, si, technically, dati silang Pinoy, naging US citizen. Tapos bumalik sila sa Pilipinas. Ang ibibigay nila sa kanila is 13 GB sa parang valid sila mag sa Pinas for a year yata. Hindi ko alam yung technicalities, but that's it. 13 GB sa. Hindi so, naman siya 5G. <laughs> 13G. Okay. 5G pa lang tayo ngayon sa internet. May ba joke siya? <laughs> okay. So, yun. First two uh, requirements. Now, if you meet those, so, syempre, ito, this post is mostly for OFWs naman. Um, since OFWs tayo for more than a year, kaya natin yung uwi. Provided, one car per family is allowed. You have to prove that you have acquired the car legally, of course. Dapat may proof of payment ka. The car is registered for at least six months before shipping it to the Philippines. So, dapat, ano ba, kung ngayon is June 2020, dapat uh, na-register na siya noong January ka lang. Mm -hmm. So, by July, pwede ko na siyang ipadala. Okay. okay. And last but not the least, personal presence is required. Hindi mo siya pwede ngayon utos. Mm -hmm. Yung pagpapadala. <laughs> okay. So, upon meeting those, okay, uh, you need to ask yourself again uh, bago mo ipadala yung sasakyan mo. Kasi meron siyang classification. Kailang i-classify mo yung sasakyan mo either if, uh, if it's new or used. Okay? Ngayon, paano mo malaman kung used yung car mo? Paano nila i-identify yung auto mo as used? First and foremost, the motor vehicle, vehicle is not of this year. So, halimbawa ngayon, 2020, Dapat yung kotse yung dadali ko sa Pinas, it should be, it should be 2019 model pababa. Okay? So, hindi na siya of this current year. Okay? So, second, um, the car has registered or used uh, 
Um, dapat yung sasakyan, of course, tulad ng sinabi ko kanina, na-register na minimum 6 months. Mm-hmm. So, may register na siya na more than 6 months. So, used na yung auto. Third, um, car uh, should be driven more than 50 kilometers. Uh, so, yung uh, distance niya, dun sa gauge, dapat 50 kilometers. Madali, napakaliit na nitong 50 kilometers. Ito siguro from the dealer to the bus, sa bahay nyo. Tapos na tayo, di ba? So, used na yung auto mo. And last but not the least, you should be, na, you should not be the first owner. Hmm. Ibig sabihin na, you should not be the first owner. Though, ikaw halang ba ako bumili ako direct sa dealer, hmm. yung car kasi, nakapangalan yun sa dealer. Sila, mostly ang first owners. Hmm. Si dealer, tapos ikaw, so second owner ka na. So, pasok ka na doon sa requirement na yun. Okay? So, once na-meet mo yun, na-prove mo na yung auto mo is used. Tapos, isa kang OFW, a migrant worker for more than a year. And, um, yung, yung sasakyan mo is, uh, tag dito, more than 6 months na na pag-aari mo. Then, pwede mo na siyang ipadala sa Pilipinas. Ngayon, uh, Ngayon, ang tanong, magkano ang babayaran ng isang OFW? Ah, doon tayo, doon tayo sa concern. Oh, meron ko masabihin. Wala, wala, okay na, okay na. So, yun ang concern talaga natin mostly. Kaya siguro napadpad kayo sa channel namin today is because you want to know the answer. Yeah. How much will you pay? How para, much it costs? Uh, para madala mo yun sa sakin. No? Again, let me go back. Sa sinabi ko kanina, it is actually being discouraged by the government to bring your cars to the Philippines because of course they want the economy to grow. So, government of the Philippines. Government right? of the Philippines, yeah. They want the economy to grow. Para doon ka bumili sa atin. It will be a lot easier to sell your car here and just buy a new one in Philippines. But, again, um, insistent talaga kayo. Na gusto nyo dalit sa Pilipinas. Well, this will what it will cost you. Hmm. Um, kasi obviously, it will be subject to import duties. Uh, uh, and taxes. So, ang unang-una, it will be average, uh, on the average, okay, ang babayaran mo is uh, 40% customs duty. 40% ha, sa customs duty pa lang yun. Okay, after uh, 40% average customs duty tax, ang susunod po ay you have to pay 10 to 12 percent value added tax okay and uh, aside from that after your uh, value added tax you will also need to pay um, that's 15 to 100 percent depending on uh, uh, the measured value of your car depending on the piston displacement and that's the exact term for it you will need to pay 15 to 100% add value rent tax. Okay? Ano yung add value rent? It's actually um, uh, a Latin word that is, uh, that means uh, fair value ng car mo. Okay? Ngayon, ang susunod yung tanong, ano ang magiging basihan ng custom sa pag-value ng, ng auto mo? Diba? Meron silang tinatawag na red book, uh, blue book, and uh, if not, um, it should be the world book. Meron pa silang world book, depending on the origin of your car. So, meron na silang nakaredeng listahan, mga car models, etc. etc. So, magbabase na lang sila sa piston displacement to arrive at the value of your car. Na yun ang magiging basihan ng uh, taxation, ng tax ng sasakyan mo. So, technically, just as a quick summary, if the original cost of your car is, say, for example, $100,000, diba? Let's use dollars. So, initially, ang babayaran mo sa customs duty is $40,000, kung 40% yun, plus another 10%, 10 to 12%, so that. So, let's estimate it's 10%. And say, yung ad value rent based on displacement is around, say, 20%, okay? So that's roughly around 70% of the car value that you need to pay first before you can use your car again in the Philippines. 
Ano yung mga documents na ipapasa nila sa Bureau of Customs? Okay. Um, documents that should be submitted to Bureau of Customs are kung make and model of your car. Of course, kung ano yung year na yung model. Uh, a make and model tapos yung kung anong taon na manufacture and piston displacement. Uh, meron ding VIN or yung vehicle identification number or the chassis number and last but not least the copy of the registration of your car so um, end of the day madugo ang pagdadaanan mong proseso para may uwi ang iyong sasakyan if you would like uh, if you would like to be practical of course uh, you can just sell your car here and then buy a new one there. That's if you want to be practical. Pero of course, may kanya-kanya tayong tulad nga sabi kanina, may kanya-kanya tayong attachment sa ating mga gamit. So what do you say? I don't have car. Ikaw, what do you say about it? What is your opinion? I don't know. <laughs> I'm just listening to you. Okay. <laughs> Ang photo ko dito is um, Kaya namin actually, ginawa itong uh, video na to is to help you guys out to decide. Kasi, um, as an OFW, nakita mo, uh, pag uwi ka ng Pilipinas, ang presyo ng sasakyan ta atin is mataas, malaki. Dito, like here in Kuwait, um, medyo mura talaga. Nakabili ka dito ng 100, 200,000 pesos na used cars na alam mo yun, medyo okay pa. Sa Pinas is wala ka nang nabibiling ganun. Masyado. Ang mabibili mong mga sasakyan sa ganun halaga is somehow parang laspag na. Alam mo yun. Pero anyway, again, end of the day, um, the decision will be yours. So this is just to help you guys decide on whether you can uh, uh, you want to bring your cars back to the Philippines and um, gusto ko lang banggitin, I also have here the address meron tayong tinatawag na Bureau of Import Services kung gusto nyo silang kontakin para sa procedures na sinabi ko kanina uh, they are located at third floor welding industries of the Philippine building Okay, the address is 349 Senator Hill, Puyat Avenue, Makati City. And you can take down their phone number, it's at 632 895 Again, that's 632 area code, it's in Makati, 895 So for more details, you can reach them all. Okay, so if you happen to like this video, don't forget to click like, hit share, hit subscribe and don't forget to, to, to click that notification bell yeah, we would like to hear from you guys um, I do hope that it helped you somehow in any way and um, that's it if you have more videos also more questions to ask feel free to put it down on the comment section okay and ako po ulit si Hany Lucas Tilo Bonifacio like sa sabing ano man ang hamon ng inyong buhay Go, 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 lang mga kaji! <laughs> go, 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 lang mga kaji. Yeah, guys, bye, bye, bye. See you.